Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to one more episode of Honest DevOps Talks with Abhishek. In this episode, we will discuss about the average DevOps package or how much package can you ask depending upon your experience during your HR interview. Please watch this till the end because I am going to provide you complete analysis from my experience. Okay, so firstly, many of you have this common question that during the interview when the HR asks you what is your expectation what should I answer I know this is a common concern that most of you have so let me explain that you can broadly divide this into two categories and you decide in which category do you fall the first category is people who have three months of notice period or you have been waiting for a long time for an interview and your interview finally got scheduled, you are not getting frequent calls or you know you have been giving a lot of calls and continuously getting rejected. If you are in this particular category, do not negotiate too much on the package factor. When HR asks you what is the expectation that you have, clearly tell them that right now I am not focused on the package. I am looking for a proper career switch. And I feel that your organization is the right fit for me. I looked into the job description and I really like the job description. So I'm not worried about the uh, package. I can negotiate on it and we can discuss after the interview. And if the HR still says that, okay, please give a number. Then you can tell them that depending upon the industry standards or simply mention depending upon your company standards, I'm okay with it. So this is the first category and now you have the second category. The second category is you are getting good number of calls or you already have an offer. You are very confident that, okay, uh, if this company or if this HR does not get back to me because of the package that I've asked, I'm still fine with it. Or, you know, you are in a good, good position that, you know, you're already working as a DevOps engineer and it's okay. Even if you don't switch at this point of time, right? If you are falling in this particular category, then you can clearly discuss about the package and you know, you can be quite stubborn on the particular number. So what is that number? So the number is not fixed. It's not like if you have one year experience, you can ask for five lakhs package or if you have two years experience, you can ask for 10 lakhs package. It's not like that. You need to do some research and how would I do this research? I will tell my experience. Probably you can gain some uh, knowledge from that. So whenever I'm giving interviews, uh, what I usually do is firstly, I go through that particular company because package depends upon company on like, you know, that's the primary factor. Let's say you are giving three years uh, experienced uh, DevOps interview for TCS. The salary bracket will be completely different for Google. The, com the salary bracket will be completely different, right? And that plays the crucial role, the company that you are applying for. So do research and as per the company, you can give them a number and they'll not be surprised, right? Let's say you have an aspiration that uh, with three years experience, I need to get a 20 lakhs of DevOps, uh, 20 lakhs package. Then if that company is able to give you that number, then they will not hesitate. They might initially tell you that you are asking for uh, so much uh, depending upon your experience, but if they can afford you with that particular package, then there is no problem. And how would you do that particular research? You can go to Glassdoor or if you have any person or any people who are already working in that particular organization, you can also talk to them. But you have these forums like Glassdoor where people anonymously, they uh, put their package details, right? So for example, you want to uh, give a DevOps engineer a role or you have scheduled interview uh, for Amazon. So you can go there, uh, glassdoor.com and you can search for DevOps engineer positions. And what if you don't have that particular designation. I know this is another question. You might ask me that Abhishek, I'm giving for a startup and uh, I went to Glassdoor and I found that company, but there is no DevOps engineer position. So in such cases, what you can do is you can search for full stack developers and DevOps engineers these days are equally paid as full stack engineers or equally paid as any good position in the market because DevOps has become so crucial and DevOps engineers are 
very very important for organizations so they don't hesitate to pay you as much as a full stack developer probably five years before or uh, four years before devops engineers were not that good paid uh, when compared to full stack uh, developers but right now it is not the case so you can expect as much as a full stack engineer so in amazon if full stack engineer is paid x amount for their experience you can expect same x amount as per your experience but in this category that i'm explaining you are stubborn on the particular number there is no problem in being stubborn but while being stubborn you also have to understand that there is a good chance that hr might not get back to you okay if you want hr to get back to you then be stubborn on the number but tell them finally that if you are not able to meet this particular number i can negotiate as well right so this is how uh, you do it or you can also uh, talk to the hr if in two days if you are not getting the call probably you can uh, get back to them and say that okay if package is the reason why you are not getting back to me then i can slightly negotiate on it so first of all understand in which category you are in right are you in category 1 or are you in category 2 if you are in category 1 do not focus more on the package because that should not be a factor for you not getting the calls whereas if you are in category 2 then yeah you have some room to play you have that space so play accordingly right so do that research and many people don't do that research and randomly come up with a number for every organization that is completely wrong for amazon and tcs you cannot come up with the same number right so if hr is calling you sometimes what happens is hr calls you and you don't have enough time to react or you don't have enough time to go to the glass door and check that right so in that situations what you can do is when the hr calls you hear from the hr from which company are they calling you then tell them that uh, can you give me 5 minutes i am in a meeting or you know can you give me 5 minutes uh, i'll give you a call back and during that 5 minutes do your research and give them a call back this is what i follow and this is what i have seen many other follow many others follow so i hope you found this useful and in this uh, series honest devops talks with abhishek this is what i am going to uh, discuss like you are frequently uh, asked questions in the youtube comments or some questions where you cannot find answers on youtube or any other platform questions where you don't have anyone to discuss with such questions i will discuss in this honest devops uh, talks and videos will come uh, randomly so there is no strict timelines like i am not going to upload video right now we are doing uh, video every day right now we are doing terraform series you all know about it and we are already done with six episodes there is one more episode that i'll do and i'll do terraform interview questions we'll also do a terraform project so that will go parallelly and this this series is like genuine conversation that i want to have with you people whenever i feel that there is some topic that i want to discuss i'll make a video on this in this particular series thank you so much i hope you found this video useful if you have any questions that i missed in this particular video let me know in the comment section and i promise you to answer each and every question on this particular video thank you so much take care everyone bye bye